Howdy, howdy, y'alls. Uh, um, I have a, a new subscriber on my channel. Thank you for watching and subscribing. And uh, I've been kind of... I'm back to work. I got cleared to go back to work. And my podiatrist said, uh, you're healed. Um, don't come back. Well, actually, I'm not healed completely. Um... But I'm as far as they can take me, and, and so the rest is is just me making sure to to take care of the or follow the instructions I've been given. So I'm back to work and I'm working uh, full time. And then uh, the second thing is uh, I got the Chinese pipes running, and I have a new subscriber on my channel. Thank you for watching. And I don't know your name because it doesn't tell me who you are so anyway that's that part and then I have um, two magpies that have decided to roost in my uh, backyard so my cats are entertained and then you get to hear them in the background and I got the evaporative cooler on my house hooked up because all of a sudden it went from uh, the end of spring to full-blown summer and I have two critters now and you well I I don't want to lose my critters so my evap which I didn't use last year uh, works so well that the first day that I had it the first morning I woke up and it was cold and it was 63 degrees Fahrenheit inside my house and it was 85 or 90 degrees outside so it works pretty good and I learned the secret to the evap is uh, it's basically just a big fan so when it's running it kind of pressurizes the house well the way to get the cooled air from one side of the house to the other is on the opposite side of the house you have to have uh, window space open of that'll allow the volume of air to cross the house to, to cool it off so that's what I've learned because well in Kentucky ev evaporative coolers don't work because the humidity in Kentucky is like 70% and the humidity here in Utah is between 15% and 10%. So what it, in Utah, evaporative cooling systems work great. In Kentucky, it just blows the most moisture around because it doesn't evaporate anything, as far as I can tell. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm back on track. The Chinese pipes are running. They're not perfect, um, and I'm just readjusting my schedule to get back to work, it, or with you know posting. And there was kind of my own self-manufactured, with the help of YouTube uh, drama. So what I did is I basically unplugged everything, and now I'm slowly replugging everything. Um, and bringing it back and doing some adjustments so that I get more exposure. Um, uh, my channel is not the kind of channel where it's going to be super super popular, and uh, and that's just the way it is. <clears throat> but I think without talking to anybody that YouTube and I haven't seen any videos or commercials on my videos which is fine because if you're not paying me to post those commercials then okay we're at a what well, we're at an equal exposure so you know you know 10% of the revenue from commercials would be cool, you know, 
Um, you know, or 7%. It doesn't have, I don't need to be a millionaire. That's not it. It's, you know, the, the rich shouldn't be taking advantage of the poor just because they can. And, and you know, it's an ethical thing, you know, and that's all it was. So I'm slowly plugging everything back in. So um, the the what I'm gonna do because my microphones, my Snowball and my Yeti, um, I haven't really taken the time to experiment with them uh, to because that's really time consuming, and then I'll get caught up in it, and then I'll get late for work. I don't want that. So I got to figure out on my days off how I'm going to work out the uh, uh, adjustment for the microphones. But in the meantime, I was going to use my cell phone to record my Chinese drones. Well, I can't find my phone camp clamp and it's always been in the way. So I don't know where it's at. But um, on one of my videos, I did a post where I couldn't find my dechanter. I found my dechanter. Now I can't find my phone clamp. So, okay. The, the leprechauns, I don't know what I need to do to get my phone clamp back um, on that. So my cell phone does pretty good at recording the pipes. And I was going to toy with this, this camera. Now, I've had this camera forever. Now, I used to carry this around in my driving bag until I had my cell phone. Now, this camera, it, it does an okay job of recording the, the bagpipes. The, the, from my perspective, the only problem with this camera is the drone sound. It translates the drone sound exactly the same regardless of whether it's pakistani pipes or if it's the chinese drones or it's my my david nails or my drum runs or my robertsons the drones all seem to sound to me the same w with the the way this camera translates the sound and then i lost the Cord. So with with this, I had to take the SD card out every time I wanted to review anything. So eventually, this camera is gonna break it because it's a mechan doing mechanical stuff repeatedly breaks things. That's just the nature of the world. So anyway, I'm back. Uh, I'm kind of on track. Uh, I'm back to working. My foot's better. I, uh, I work, walk about, oh, uh, it's about a mile, uh, three or four times a week. So to go to some of my routes, cause it's more practical to, to walk, to pick up my work than it is to drive my vehicle and then finish and then still have to work anyway. And then my vehicle is in an unsafe area or an area I don't want to leave it. Not necessarily unsafe. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'm going to try to post my Chinese drones today and see how that works out, And because uh, I had to reteach myself a couple of things. <clears throat> and I don't know what I'm going to do with my cats, because they're, they, every time I strike up the big pipes, they try to, they like the small pipes. They get all excited and happy right now, and they're sleeping, obviously, you can see one of them back there. That's Jules. So, they like the sound of the small pipes. They do not like the sound of the big pipes because it sounds like, I guess, apparently being attacked. And they want me to stop instead of being like normal cats and running away and hiding. My cats come out and get under my feet because they want me to stop or they're trying to protect me or whatever. I have alien cats. And 
that's the way it is. So, thanks for watching. And I know this video is long, but you, uh, anybody who watches my stuff already knows the ramble. I am back on track, mostly. Um, I got other things in, in the project or in the line for not necessarily what I'm doing with piping, but it's stuff to make things better for myself. And this foot wound and the five months off has given me a chance to it's I haven't meditated on it or anything like that but I need to make some adjustments more towards uh, what I'm doing with myself because I've always worked ever since I was like nine years old and so I need to learn how to do some stuff and readjust some priorities because I never took vacation time unless it was to do something for somebody else and and that was the only time I took off from work. Other than that, I was working as much overtime as I could. And and just work, work, work. And so now that before I lose the 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 ability, uh, I need to start to go out and learn how to play. And that's just it. And you know, uh, there's stuff I want to do and people I want to go see and things that that I've always wanted to do but I felt like I had to be responsible to my job first and you know this five months uh, made me realize that I, I'm not critical to the company and maybe the the company shouldn't be critical to me it's not that I want to be a, a slacker or I don't like my job I love my job but I'm not doing the other stuff that makes that makes the globe more full. That's how the only way I can describe it. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm slowly rebuilding my my YouTube account. So you're gonna see some random strange stuff from a long time ago. Well, relatively speaking, and some pretty bad videos but I don't want to delete anything and you know there it is um, my perspective on that is exposure is exposure <clears throat> you know something random or weird could happen and then all of a sudden I'm famous and don't want to be because <laughs> you have to sign a contract and then you have to follow the contract yeah, my whole goal right now is freedom. The contracts don't include freedom. So, you know, that these people who are ultra famous and stuff like that, you know, that's a, it's a big responsibility. And it's a lot of work. And then when you try to go out and be yourself, whatever that is, um, then you can't be because everybody else is paying attention so anyway uh, the money would be nice but you know it's a trade-off you know everybody's got to be into your stuff to in order to be famous and maybe sometimes that's not worth it so anyway thanks for watching uh, thanks for the new subscriber or ers um, who have joined my my channel and uh, I will continue to try to improve in, in increments and then there it is so I have a good day and thanks for watching and bye